come on, come on, show me yourself, open up your eyes, this is your life, and this is me, walking in, so don't hesitate, don't even try, cause holding your breath is a giant waste of time, because the heart can keep pumping without the mind, and not let you feel your heart. Hey guys, so it's been um, about nine weeks on T, and um, I uh, wanted to um, talk about, uh, um, I guess, some stuff. I know several guys have said that they've experienced changes, um, like mood changes, as they go on the shots, and I'm doing it bi-weekly. And I definitely don't feel mood changes. I mean, I, I'm sure I have them. I just don't feel them, um, really. I do notice that when I take my shot, um, I have more energy um, after it. But, I mean, like, I also notice that I get heart palpitations, um, more often. I have a, I have a heart murmur, so, uh, and it's benign, or so I've been told, and, um, it only really causes issues right when I get my shot, like, a few days or whatever after, um, well, actually, it just, it can happen any time, but when I get really pissed or something, it happens more often, and that's something that I'm slightly worried about, but, um, I might talk about that with my doctor in a few weeks when I go back. I've been thinking more and more about getting top surgery and looking at videos and stuff, and, um, I've talked to Dr. Garamoni already, um, because I was going to schedule it for January, but that didn't happen, um, so now my best bet is July or, um, or May, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do July because, um, my, um, person, <laughs> um, wants to go with me and she is in, um, an internship until July. So, July or August. I really don't have any life plans either, which is pissing me off, but I don't have life plans, and I'm usually a planner, and, um, it's really annoying that I don't know what I'm doing with my life, and I'm out of college, and I want to go to grad school, but I don't know what to go for, and I'm taking classes currently to go to psych, but I don't know. I, I don't, I don't think I want to go into it, um, after taking the classes that I'm taking. Um, I just, I like knowing the information, but I don't think I want to pursue it as a career, which is really annoying to me because I thought I did. So now I'm spending all this money on it, but whatever. Um, so yeah. Also, um, I met I met somebody as I kind of said a few like minutes ago. She's very nice and very awesome, and I like her a lot, and she makes me happy. So my family has been picking up on my voice changes. Um, now, I think I said that earlier, but that was only my dad doing it. Now my whole family has been, I was like, do you have a cold? I'm like, no. And they're like, oh. And I know that some of them are freaking out, which I, I can't really help. Like, I understand. I just, I can't really help them, um, really. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm trying to be okay with the family thing. Um, I care a lot about my family. So, um. Yeah, um, I, I like the changes that I'm, I'm getting, I do, I like them, and, um, it's not apparent to me that I'm changing, um, a lot to them, I mean, facial-wise, I, I still look the same, maybe, like, some change, but not a lot, and then, but then voice, like, you know, I told them it was gonna go first, because it was, like, I, I kinda knew it was gonna, and, um, and they're like, oh yeah, but now, now that the realization has set in, like, 
they're kind of like, oh, right, this is for real. Like, this is for real. Like, you're actually doing that shit. And, and they get uncomfortable, so... Um, I'm not that bothered by it. I just don't know how to make them more comfortable. I, I'm i not going to... I mean, I'm not going to talk higher. Like, I'm... I, I mean, this is my voice. Like, you know, I mean... So, anyway, um, but yeah, um, my parents are doing well, my siblings are kind of not, so, um, but yeah, it's gonna take time, so, um, I'm just trying to be patient, as patient as possible, and it's not really that a big, uh, that, that big of a deal to me, um, I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm very, I've always been very patient, and, with them, anyway, I mean, well, okay, that's a lie, I, I've been very impatient, but, I don't know, I'm looking at things differently now, so I'm trying to be patient, and it's not that big of a deal. It, it only gets a big deal when I'm in public, and they do it, really, um, then it's just way awkward, and I'm just like, why? You just look dumb. Like, why? So, anyway, um, back to top surgery. Um, I am a candidate for um, double incision, so, yeah, and, um, my, I, I have it paid for, um, if I want it paid for, um, my, yeah, my finances are, um, doable. I mean, there's a, another method of how I'm paying for it, but I'm not gonna go into that here. Um, so yeah, that's good. Um, I just need to set a date and call them and stuff, and I'm actually quite terrified of it, um just the whole process of it, like, because I've read some stuff about what goes on, like, as, as people are, you know, uh, wheeled in and stuff, so, um, yeah, it's kind of scary, uh, I'm not really a big fan of surgery, but, um, also, I'm slightly worried about my heart murmur thing, but, um, I'm, I mean, I, I can get an EKG and stuff beforehand. I think he said something about it maybe being required. I don't remember, but yeah, I talked to him in, like, September, so I don't know. So, I'm excited. I like my life. I'm pretty happy. That is, that's really it. So, thanks for listening.